welcome to fm electricals in this video you are going to learn about the how to do the documentation work for material approval request or we can say it material submittal approvals means for the project there will be so many types of materials and there are some main materials so the client will ask which brand we are going to use so in the brand there will be so many type of models of different type of colors or different type of dimensions so which one which rating we are going to use we need to specify in this document so this is the format of that uh, material details description you can say all the details of the material we can fill here and then we will attach all the documents related to the materials and then we will submit so why we do this one because before starting the work we need to get the approvals otherwise at later stage there will be difficulty to get the brand approval if the client will reject at the later stage on that time there will be big problem so for escaping this problem first before starting the work we submit the document to get the brand approvals once the brand approval models are everything is completed then we can purchase the material and we can start installing at site so they will come for inspection they will check and then they will check that they will match the materials if everything is okay they will approve the work then they will give the payment and then we can close the project so this is the scenario and this is the procedure so today in this video you will learn about the how to do the material approval request so here you can see in the first is uh, showing the project logo so here we can paste the project logo and uh, here you can see this is the project name means here we need to put our project name then here this is the project number means here we need to put the project number and uh, here you can see the client means which uh, what is uh, what is the name of the client here you can paste the name and you can type the name or you can uh, paste the logo of the client also with the names here is written project manager with the project manager we need to put his name here and here is the consultant means who is uh, taking care of this project if uh, if the there are two three uh, consultant like design consultant supervision consultant so here we can if there are more details we need to add one more column here and we, we, we need to feed the consultant name then here you can see this is the con contractor means who is going to do the work for the project so or you can say it uh, who, who is supplying the materials he has to prepare this format and then he has to get the approvals in the corner right upper corner you can see it form number what is this one for each and every company there they have this type of standard format and uh, and certified by ISO so here this is the form number uh, of the ISO certification and here you can see this is revision 01 means one means this format has been revised as per the comment of the ISO certification so after correction of this format then it was resubmitted and then that's why this is uh, revision 01 and on which month on or which year it was updated it's showing here now come to here what is the description is material approval request MAR now here you can see submittal contents means which is the category we are going to use so first one is material and sample suppose uh, we are proposing some materials and client is asking to submit sample with the documents so if we are submitting any sample suppose because uh, any color or any 
dimension issues or any technical issues for that some clients will ask the sample so they will check the visual and then they will select because sometimes if we submit the catalog only they will not uh, understand that which type of material what is the quality so for better understanding they will ask for sample also so they will check it visually and then they will decide whether to approve or not so if we are submitting with sample then we can highlight here and the second option is for mock-up suppose client client or consultant will ask that first material need to be installed at site we will see the color then dimension and the other things whatever they required first they will check by themselves and then they will approve so for that we need to if we have installed mock-up at site then we will tick this one the third one is catalog brochure if we are attaching the catalog brochure but one thing we need to keep in mind while submitting attaching uh, the catalog we need to highlight the specified materials because the catalogs comes in general for all the models it will come but uh, the consultant will not understand so for that first you need to highlight uh, whatever material you are going to use which model then after you need to attach it will be better now this is the other like we are attaching some delivery note or some factory test report or country of origin whatever documents required you are attaching here you can mention on the right side you can see MAR number means uh, what is the number of the this material format means suppose if we have 10 or 20 materials so for each and every material should have one MAR number means this format number which document we are submitting so just I typed here uh, for, for an example suppose this is the project number so this is the project number then slash then MEP means which company then slash then which uh, trade like electrical or civil or mechanical if it is electrical you can type here electrical then slash and if it is more than 99 then you can go for three digit so, so zero zero one here revision zero means if we are submitting first time then we can type here as a revision zero if if we submitted this one and if there was some comment and then we complied that comment and then again we are submitting on that time we need to put here revision 0 uh, sorry revision 1 now come to this section here uh, written is trade and discipline means which discipline or trade we are going to submit the material for so here you can see civil structural landscape architectural mechanical interior design electrical so basically uh, if we are submitting the document for electrical so here we need to highlight here now this is information technology others now here you can see date submitted when it was submitted which date so that date we need to put here now date required on site means uh, you have a plan of the project that when you are going to start the work so that date you need to put when you need at site production period it means that how long time it will be taking for manufacturing the materials so the, that that detail you can get from the supplier the third one is total delivery time means how much time it will take after ordering to the delivering at site the the next one is expected arrival on site means which date it can be delivered at site now here you can see description of materials equipment means which brand and which model number it should be clearly mentioned here suppose if we are if we are uh, proposing the distribution book so i will write it distribution board 
how many ways suppose six ways tp then uh, which brand we can write it here suppose uh, we need abb abb brand so this much uh, detail is enough now here asking for differences means this one this material required from where from where you got this type of materials to be used at site so here is written specification difference once the project is awarded before that there will be a specification of the project means which brand which type of workers there so all these things we need to check so if if the pages if any pages having this type of specification for this material you can put that page number that reference number drawing number which drawing is related to this one so that drawing reference we can put here then voq reference means of quantity reference means uh, the voq detail you can put here now qc 2010 reference Actually now we are following the QCS 2014 but here showing 2010 because it was made when it was made in uh, 2012 so the, the year is for 2010 but actually we are, we are following to QCS 2014 so that reference number we, we need to put here this actually requirement the statutory requirement you can fill if there are some requirements are here you can fill here then specify vendor list suppose there are five vendors like ABB, Snyder, Legrand, MK so you can prefer here suppose they they specified for Snyder but you are proposing AB so that one you need to put if AB here should be AB if if they are asking for Snyder if you are proposing but this detail should be written type typed here because they need to check again which brand they ask and which brand we are submitting now manufacturer supplier detail means who is the supplier suppose Snyder brand or ABB ABB supplier means uh, who is taking the material from the manufacturing company and then the distributor also you can tell so distributor or supplier so is taking the material from the ABB company and then he is selling to the customer so this is called local supplier agent so that company name we need to put here then address contract contact number and, uh, and if, if suppose the same country it is manufactured you can tick here highlight here if it is from imported means from other country you can tick here highlight it and then country for region which country it is manufacturing from now here uh, we need to put the detail for the manufacturer so company name and address contact number we need to put here now who prepare means QA QC engineer of the con contracting company that name name should be here name with sign and date verified by contractor QA QC QS or project coordinator from the main contractor side somebody should verify or from the contractor side also okay but uh, the senior position like QA QC or contractors anyone means uh, there should be another uh, sign also now here recommended for approval by co contractor PM means PM of the company need to sign here now this is the vacant area here this pages for the client for the consultant by the client side they will check the document 
and they will they will put the comment or they will approve here approve uh, section is here but uh, here if there will be any comment regarding the materials they will put the comment here now submittal status in this section after uh, reviewing all the documents what we, whatever we submitted they will put the comment like this is approved or approved as noted approved means without any uh, comments if the materials is satisfactory then simply they will approve means material is approved if approved approved as noted means there is some uh, comments we need to comply and then after complying then we need to use that materials so that one is with approved and noted means in approved and noted they, there should be comment and we need to comply the document now the third one is revise and resubmit means if the document details are not uh, uh, satisfying the client or the consultant then they will reject they will put the reason and they will reject so either we need to comply all his comments and then otherwise you need to go for other brand and you need to take the approvals D means rejected here if the brand is of different brand simply they will reject now supervision consultant signature means the consultant will uh, check so their details should be here name and signature and uh, this is the senior engineer this is the project manager of that consultant they will sign the client approval if the client side also required then they will put the name and sign they will approve so this is the things uh, for the format so this is very simple to submit so in the other video i will show you how to uh, attach all the documents because there are so many index like 10 15 uh, details we need to attach with this uh, material approval request format sheet and then we will send for the material approvals so in the next video i will show you so thank you so much for watching this video